I set out to write what I thought was a funny, like it's a, for me it's a body swap yeah. movie, it's like Trading Places or something like that. It's about a guy who loses his, his identity and then finds it again. That is really what it's about. And you know, the fact that Muslims and Jews is the subject matter of that turnaround is kind of just because I thought that hadn't been done before and it seemed the right time to do it. But I wasn't interested really in giving a message, but, the, but I feel quite strongly that you know, it is possible if you don't have preconceptions for people to get along. And that is the message, but it's very ho lightly held, hopefully. Yeah. I'm interested in writing longer story-based stuff. You know, when I first started, I did, wrote lots of stand-up and sketches, and I just feel that now I'm interested in telling longer stories. Mm -hmm. So film is obviously a good way of doing that. Me too. I'm getting lots of the similar kind of uh, film projects. I mean, Frank Skinner's written a, a book about you know, a West Brom fan who finds out he actually doesn't like West Brom and supports Man, Man City. And... Um, but I didn't really want to do that. I felt David's film was more of a fit. But I'm, I'm, but I'm now being This isn't true, the by the way. I think she thinks this is true. I just realised <laughs> I, I delivered it badly. You delivered it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they were laughing inwardly. I think West Brom yeah. Birmingham worked better. West Brom Birmingham worked better. Work. I, I made yeah. Man yeah. City. That, yeah. I don't know why you made it Man City. I don't know why my mind works like that. My <laughs> wife, I have no control over my mind. That's the problem. That is actually true. I thought it was very funny. I thought it was very... Uh, uh, from a religious background, knowing that David's an atheist, he, the, the, the kind of warmth he felt for religion was very unusual. A lot of atheists don't seem to, seem to be quite aggressive about religion. I felt the warmth towards religion, and I liked that. I thought it was a very warm film. It's a very funny, warm, feel-good film. And it was very original in the sense that it was, it was straddling, it was going quite close to the edge. But at the same time, I felt it was something that it was very meaningful to me. I want to do something that actually... Well, like the Money Supermarket adverts. Money Supermarket, <laughs> I'm very, very pleased because that is... No, I love the Money Supermarket people. adverts. That's I love them. people's lives. <laughs> Thank you for bringing that up. As you can tell, moneysupermarket.com, a great deal easier. I'm very happy because I'm not selling anything that's helping people's lives. And I've had Indeed. A lot of, but I think this is a film that also, I think, could, uh, could break down some barriers. And I think that's a wonderful thing. I mean, actually... I, a, he's brilliant, I think. I mean, really great. And secondly, um, it was actually a good thing, a lucky accident for the movie, that we decided to make that character American because there's something really great, I think, about hearing that dialogue. American and also something really good about the Jewish character being American because there's something more archetypal about an American yeah. Jew, for me, certainly comically, because you can't think about Larry David or Woody Allen and all those people. So I really l like it, and I think it really helps those scenes that it's also an English guy and an yeah. American guy. Um, I hope they will take away uh, the words, this is great, go and see it. I hope they, that's what I hope they will take yeah, away. Yeah, I hope they'll go away and think, actually, that bald fat guy is a real film star. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. and hot. And that's really a, hot. He's yeah. much hotter than I realised. Yeah, I've, yeah, I've got a big following in the over 50s Essex Jews kind yeah. of market. God, yeah. yeah.